Hi, I am Sanjay Patel. Let us uh, continue with our let's say, next problem of uh, transforming multiple integrals into say different uh, coding systems. So I am taking the second example. We have seen the first problem in our previous video. So this is also a very interesting problem. Find the value of say this uh, double integral x plus y whole cube into dx dy over the region R where where capital R is the parallelogram the capital R is the is the parallelogram it is a parallelogram whose sides whose sides are uh, the following lines one uh, side is given by the equation x plus y is equal to 1 second uh, side is x minus 2y is equal to 1 then x plus y is equal to 4 and x minus 2y is equal to minus 2 okay so we want to find the value of this several integral over the region r which is a parallelogram you know a parallelogram is a quadrilateral where uh, the both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other okay and you can see that this first and the third line let me just give the numbers so this is the first equation second equation third equation and fourth equation so the equation one and equation three they are a parallel lines and same way equation two and four are the parallel lines as the slopes are same okay uh, here the function of function which is to be integrated is simple but the region of the integration is a parallelogram so if you draw the uh, this uh, region of integration you will understand that it is again difficult to integrate over this uh, parallelogram so first of all let me draw the region of integration here say first of all i will draw all these four lines so let me take some x and y axis first say okay. this is x axis then i am taking a y axis Okay, and let us take the four sides. So first of all, uh, the equation x plus y is equal to 1 is a line which is, if you put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 1 and y equal to 0, you will get x equal to 1. So it is passing through uh, 0, 1 and 1, 0. So we have to just uh, draw the line passing through these two points. So this is 0. Suppose uh, somewhere here we have say this point is say 0 comma 1 and say so this point is say 1 comma 0. Then I should draw a line passing through this these points and uh, Okay, so this is the line x plus y is equal to 1. Similarly, x plus y is equal to 4 is passing through say 0, 4 and 4, 0. By putting x equal to 0, we will get y equal to 4 and for putting y equal to 0, we will get x equal to 4. So suppose this is uh, 2 and this is 3 and suppose this is 4 somewhere here. And uh, here also suppose this is 2, 3 and say 4 here. Then I can draw a line, so another line which is parallel to this and passing through the two points. Okay, so it is parallel to this line. His equation is x plus y is equal to 4. So this is my third line. Okay, 
it is passing through 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 and remember this is y axis and this is x axis okay and other two lines that is x minus 2y is equal to 1 if you take uh, say if you take x equal to 0 if we take x equal to 0 here we get y is equal to minus 1 by 2 then when you take y equal to 0 you will get x equal to 1 so it is passing through 1 0 means it is passing through this point and it is also passing through 0 comma minus 1 by 2 so suppose minus 1 by 2 is somewhere here say somewhere here this is minus 1 by 2 then I must draw a line I must draw a line passing through this minus 1 by 2 and 0 so I am taking a line like this okay so this is my line x minus 2y is equal to 1 and the another line which is uh, let me show you whose equation is x minus 2y is equal to minus 2 the fourth line when put x equal to 0 you will get y equal to 1 minus 2y equal to minus 2 means y equal to 1 and when you put y equal to 0 you will get x equal to minus 2 so it is passing through minus 2 0 and 0 comma 1 so one point is this and another point is somewhere here I must uh, extend this uh, line the white line the x axis okay and uh, I want some point say minus 2 comma 0 so let me choose minus 2 comma 0 somewhere or let me draw the line first that will be easy so I'm taking a line passing through this and uh, let me extend this line okay fine so this is x minus 2y is equal to minus 2 okay this point of intersection is minus 2 comma 0 and uh, it is also passing through 0 comma 1 so the region of integration is the area or the parallelogram which is bounded by these four lines so this is our region of integration okay and uh, if you think of integrating over this region only because the function is very simple if you decide to integrate with respect to say x first you have to take a straight parallel to x axis so you have to divide this region into many parts instead of that instead of that let us uh, change the variables from x y to some new system see change of variables uh, is uh, done by some observation which makes the problem easy like here x plus y appears at many places here in this function as well as here and x minus 2y appears in these two equations. So let me take a substitution for x plus y and x minus y. So let me take x plus y is equal to say u and x minus let x plus y is equal to u and say x minus 2y is equal to v. Okay. Then the first step I want to do is I want to express this x and y in terms of u and v. So if I multiply this equation by 2, then I will get 2x plus 2y is equal to 2u. And then adding with this equation, what I will get is uh, say 3x. If I add 2x plus x is 3x, 2y and minus 2y will be cancelled and 2u plus v so 2u plus v so that gives me that gives me x 
is equal to 1 by 3 times uh, this is u 2 into u plus v okay same way i want to express uh, so i express x in terms of u and v same way i want to express y in terms of u and v so to express y in terms of u and v i will subtract this equation minus this equation so we subtract the second equation from the first one so i am other words i am taking u minus v so what u minus v if you take you will get x x gets cancelled and uh, y minus minus 2y that gives you 3y and therefore y is equal to 1 by 3 times u minus v so you will get your second uh, variable y so this you can understand this as a function of u and v so this is our one substitution and another substitution is for y the variable y which is a function of u and v again so to transform this given double integral one has to find the jacobian first so the jacobian for the given variables that is delta of x comma y with respect to u comma v you know what is it it is uh, delta x by delta u delta x by delta v similarly delta y by delta u and delta y by delta v okay so i let me write this delta x by delta u and i have to find this determinant what is this derivatives x derivative with respect to u and with respect to v in difference with respect to u derivative of v is zero so this is 1 and 2 by 3. You will get 2 by 3 here. In difference with respect to v, this becomes 0. So we will get 1. 0 plus 1 is 1 by 3 now. And derivative y with respect to u is 1 minus 0. This, that gives you 1 by 3. Derivative y with respect to v is 1 by 3 into 0 minus 1. So it is minus 1 by 3. Simplifying, so we will get... 2 by 3 into minus 1 by 3 okay so this into this minus this into this so minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 simplifying this that is, that is 2 by 9 minus 2 by 9 and uh, minus 1 by 9 this is minus 2 by 9 and this is minus 1 by 9 that is minus 3 by 9. So it is nothing but minus 1 by 3. So the value of Jacobian is 1 minus 1 by 3. Okay. And now I want to write down the new boundaries of this region in terms of the new variables u and v. Okay. So let me write this way. In the new, in the UV coordinate system, in the UV coordinate system, UV coordinate system, the region of integration, the region of integration is bounded by is bounded by the curves bounded by the curves say this four curves you know these are the four lines but you know we have taken x plus y as u and uh, x minus 2y as v so it is bounded by u equal to 1 this becomes uh, say this becomes this is u this is u and this is your v so u is equal to 1 u is equal to 4 v is equal to 1 and v is equal to minus 2 so let me write this way it is bounded by the curves so u is equal to 1 then the second equation was v is equal to 1 third equation is u is equal to 4 and the fourth equation is v is equal to minus 2 just uh, replacing this 
u equal to 1, v equal to 1, u equal to 4, v equal to minus 2. Okay. And now let us draw the region of integration in this new system, which is very, very simple. So let us consider the uv coding system. So let me draw some u and v axis. Say so this is u axis. Okay. And v axis. Say so this is the new origin u axis. This is V axis. And uh, we want to draw this four curves u equal to 1, v equal to 1, u equal to 4, v equal to minus 2. You know that u is equal to constant is a line parallel to V axis. It is similar to the concept of x and y axis. So I can draw u equal to 1 line, which is uh, parallel to V axis. So let me draw these two lines. So this is say so one is somewhere here. Sorry. Suppose one is here, two, three, and four. Okay, and for v, we can take v equal to one, minus one, and minus two somewhere here, and uh, v equal to one somewhere here. Okay, now let us draw this uh, lines. First, the line u equal to 1. So, it is like this. This is the line u is equal to 1. Then u is equal to 4. So, this is u is equal to 4 line. Let me take this and uh, okay. this is u equal to 4 and the other two lines that is v equal to 1 and v equal to minus 2. So v equal to 1 which is here passing through this say v is equal to 1 and v is equal to minus 2 it is somewhere here so our uh, region of integration is the rectangle enclosed between these uh, four lines so i can consider that as this region this is our region of integration it's a new region r dash and over the rectangle the limits are all constants we can write immediately the given double integral as we can write the double integral as the required double integral which is double integral over the given region r of x plus y whole cube dx into dy is equal to double integral we have taken x plus y uh, is equal to say u so it is u cube into mod j into du into dv over the new region r dash which is equal to we have already computed the value of uh, the jacobian which is minus 1 by 3 okay so what i will get here is this is equal to double integral u cube mod j that is mod of minus 1 by 3 du dv okay and uh, the limits of integration you can integrate in any order either you integrate with respect to x first or with, um, with respect to u first or with respect to v first okay suppose we integrate with respect to uh, say u first so we take a uh, that is u varies from 1 to 4 we write the limits of this way integral say u is equal to 1 to 1 to 4 and 
v is equal to minus 2 to 1 that minus 1 by 3 will be uh, outside of this integral sign so you will get this this is a very simple integral this means it is integrated with respect to say u first so let me write this way not this way it is uh, dv into du so this is equal to 1 by 3 integral v is equal to minus 2 to plus 1 into integral u is equal to 1 to 4 u cube du into dv okay so it is a very simple integration so v is equal to minus 2 to 1 and this integral is u raised to 4 upon 4 which is very simple and the limits of integrations are u equal to 1 and u equal to 4 into dv so simplifying this by putting u equal to 4 and uh, so we get v equal to minus 2 2 plus 1 into 4 is to 4 by 4 minus 1 raised to 4 by 4 into dv so that is equal to uh, this 4 is to 4 is uh, 256 and 256 minus 1 so it is v equal to minus 2 to 1 255 by 4 denominator is common so we can simplify directly 4 is to 4 minus 1 so the final answer here is uh, this equals to 1 by 3 rather i can write 255 by 4 outside of this integral sign so it is 255 by 12 and integral v equal to minus 2 2 plus 1 1 dv so this is equal to 255 by 12 and uh, integral of 1 is v with respect to v and minus 2 2 plus 1 so 255 by 12 into 1 minus minus 2 okay so it is plus 3 and by 12 so that gives us 255 by 12 into 3 which is equal to this is equal to 255 by 4 so the final answer is 255 by 4 let us do one more problem of uh, the same type say problem number 3 let me check this so we have done this another interesting problem number 2 now I will consider the next problem number 3 say evaluate the double integral of the function e raised to x minus y upon x plus y dx into dy over r where capital R is the area enclosed area enclosed between the lines x plus y is equal to 1 by 2 and x plus y is equal to 1 and it is lying in the first quadrant lying in the first quadrant so let us solve this again in this problem we can see that x plus y appears at many places so let me take some substitution for this x plus y so i start with the two substitution x plus y is equal to u and i am taking x minus y is equal to v what i want to do is i want to change the two variables x and y in in new variables replace this x and y 
by some new variable so that this integral becomes simple. So I'm taking x minus x plus y is equal to u and x minus y is equal to v. Now you can take uh, anything. The x minus y is equal to u and x plus y is equal to v. Okay. The next step is we try to express uh, this x and y in terms of u and v. So adding these two, we get 2x is equal to u plus v, that y, y will be cancelled, which implies x is equal to 1 by 2 times u plus v. Okay. And also, if you take the subtraction u minus v, if you take u minus v, what you will get is u minus v is equal to say x x cancels and you will get 2y. So therefore, we will get y is equal to 1 by 2 times u minus v. Okay. So we have expressed x and y as a function of u and v. So this is some function of u and v and this is also some function of the u and v. Okay. Now the next step is we find the Jacobian of uh, x y with respect to u and v which is given by delta x y by delta u v and we know the meaning of this Jacobian it is delta x by delta u delta x by delta v second row is delta y by delta u and delta y by delta v so let us put all the derivatives the derivative of x with respect to u and with respect to v. So this is your function x, derivative of this with respect to u and v and this is a function y of u and v. You want to find the partial derivatives of x with respect to u that is 1 by 2 again with respect to v is 1 by 2. Derivative of y with respect to u and v is uh, 1 by 2 and uh, minus 1 by 2 respectively. It's very simple. So taking, simplifying this determinant 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So what you will get is minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to uh, which is equal to minus uh, 1 by 2. 2 times minus 1 by 4 4 is minus 1 by 2. So the Jacobian value is minus 1 by 2. Fine. Now, first we try to understand what is our region of uh, integration, original region of integration. So here, the region R is bounded by is bounded by the two lines x plus y is equal to 1 x plus y is equal to 1 by 2 and coordinate axis in the first quadrant and coordinate axis and lying in the first quadrant so what what are these things in uh, the original cartesian plane so let us draw x and y axis and then uh, we'll see what we can do say suppose this is x axis and same way i take y axis say somewhere here okay so this is y axis this is origin now this x plus y is equal to one is clearly a line passing through one zero and zero one same way this is a line passing through 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 by 2. If you put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 1 by 2. If you put y equal to 0, you get x equal to 1 by 2. So it is very simple. So let me draw the two lines. First, this line, it is passing, suppose this is 1 by 2, this is 1. Same way here, this is 1 by 2 and here it is again 1. So the first line I would like to take here is x plus y is equal to 1 by 2 which is passing through these two points. 
or I can draw a line passing through this one by two and this one by two. Okay, same way I can take another line which is passing through one and one to take another line which is passing through This is not proper. Let me show that point always over here. This is the point one. Okay. So the region of integration is the area bounded between these two lines and uh, the line in the first quadrant. So this is our region of integration that is R. Okay. And uh, the equation of these lines, this line is x plus y is equal to 1 by 2 and this line is x plus y is equal to 1 and this is our region of integration. So it is this region something like a trapezium or a parallelogram. No, it is not a parallelogram. It is something like trapezium. So this is our region of integration. And uh, now in the UV coding system, now in the UV coding system, code in a system, this uh, curves, this curves uh, can be expressed as or can be written as this x plus y is equal to 1 by 2, you take an x plus y is equal to 1 by 2, so u is equal to 1 by 2 and u is equal to 1. Okay. And it is also bounded between these two uh, axes. That is uh, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. The x-axis and y-axis. Okay. So what is the equation of x-axis? I can write like this. That is uh, equation of x-axis is y is equal to 0. But y equal to 0 means uh, you know what is y. We already obtained the formula for x and y x is 1 by 2 times u plus v and y is 1 by 2 times u minus v. So y is equal to 0 means u minus v equal to 0. So that is 1 by 2 times u minus v equal to 0 and that gives me say u is equal to v. Okay, And the equation of uh, y axis that is x equal to 0 it is 1 by 2 times u plus v equal to 0. So that gives you say u is equal to minus v. So keeping in mind all this four curves u equal to 1 by 2 u equal to 1 and this the region of integration we can draw like this in the uv system. So let me take uh, u and v axis now. Say so this is u axis and v axis say something like this okay so this is uh, v axis you know u equal to v or u equal to minus v you can compare with the equation y equal to x and y equal to minus x so both are straight lines passing through origin Okay, so first line I can take is uh, this way. Say u equal to or v equal to u is this line. Okay, this is line v is equal to u and uh, 
v equal to minus u is given by this v equal to minus u this. Okay. this is our origin new origin o dash okay so this is uh, v equal to minus u and uh, the other two curves that is u equal to 1 by 2 and u equal to 1 u is equal to constant means line parallel to uh, say y axis suppose uh, 1 by 2 is here and 1 is somewhere here then i should draw a line passing through 1 by 2 so this is u is equal to 1 by 2 line and uh, another line is this that is u is equal to one sorry this is u is equal to one line u is equal to constant is parallel to v axis so the region of integration is uh, the area bounded uh, between these four lines so that is it is this region And uh, in this region, we want to write down the given double integral and by changing the variables, so I can write therefore double integral of uh, e raised to x minus y upon x plus y dx dy over r is equal to double integral over the new region r dash of e raised to the v upon u into mod j into du dv so that is equal to double integral over r dash and mod j you know what is the value of j j was uh, let me check minus 1 by 2 so i can write that value here so that will give us 1 by 2 here e raised to v upon u du dv because j is equal to minus 1 by 2 okay now it remains to integrate this function e raised to v upon u uh, here in this uh, region so you understand that uh, If you integrate with respect to say v first, you integrate with respect to v first, then uh, limits of uh, v are functions of u, and that can be obtained by taking a strip, sorry, taking a strip parallel to say y axis. So let me take a strip parallel to y axis in this region okay so we determine the limits or other end points of this or end curves of this strip so this end curve is lying on this and uh, we can write the limits of v in terms of u so v is equal to minus u to v is equal to plus u it is already there v is equal to minus u and this is v is equal to plus u and the limits of u which are constants that can be obtained by uh, moving in this direction from left to right and the minimum value of uh, u when you enter in the region is on this line which is 1 by 2 so u varies from say 1 by 2 to u is equal to 1 okay
I can write now this uh, double integral as 1 by 2 integral u is equal to 1 by 2 to 1 integral v is equal to minus u2 plus u e raised to v upon u du into dv. So, it is integrated with respect to v first. Again, it is a very simple integration. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 integral u is equal to 1 by 2 to 1. And now, integral of e raised to v upon u with respect to v first. So, let me write one more step. So, this is equal to uh, this integral v is equal to minus u2 plus u e raised to v upon u dv into du. So let us integrate this. So, so when you integrate with respect to v, u is constant. So what uh, we'll get here is integral of e raised to ax formula that is 1 upon a times e raised to ax. So what I will get here is um, u into e raised to v upon u and this we have to substitute v is equal to minus u2 plus u okay and this into du. What I am using is uh, this simple formula e in integral e raised to x is 1 upon a e raised to x okay. So here a is 1 by u, u is constant. So further simplifying, so 1 by 2 integral u is equal to 1 by 2 to 1 and then simplifying this, we put v is equal to u first wherever v appears, it is here only. So it will be u into e raised to u upon u that is 1 minus putting v equal to minus u, so we will get u into e raised to minus 1. Remember, these are the limits of v. So, this is v is equal to minus u and this is v is equal to plus u into du. So, e minus e raised to minus 1 is a constant. We can write outside of this integral sign from this and integrate this remaining expression that is u only with respect to u. So, 1 by 2 e minus e raised to minus 1 okay. and integral of u is u square by 2 u is equal to 1 by 2 to 1. Simplifying further, we get this is equal to 1 by 2 e minus e raised to minus 1 and here first we put u equal to 1 so it is 1 by 2 minus sign and u equal to 1 by 2 so it is 1 by 4 by 2 so it is 1 by 8 okay so what uh, we will get here is uh, as uh, this is 8 is the LCM here so 8 means 4 minus 1 so it is 3 by 8 and it is 8 here. The final answer will be 3 by 16 e minus e raised to minus 1. This is 3 by 8 and 3 by 8 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 16. So, this is our final value of the required double integral. So in this, uh, we have understood how to uh, change the variables or how to take substitution in double integral to make the problem very simple. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss how to transform uh, the double integral from Cartesian system to polar coding system. So, till then, goodbye. Thank you.